everybody. Welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. And we are doing day 28 of Christy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches with Miss Christy. And as always, I have all the links below. Check them out. Have a good time. See what other people are doing. And let's have some fun. Okay. So I noticed that my video for Page Kids did not even post until this morning. Oh, the joys of slow internet. I, I don't, you know, they're going down my street and they're putting in fiber optics. So this weekend, it was crazy. I didn't have internet half the day yesterday. So I'm not surprised that it did not post until today because I don't have great cell phone service either. Verizon does not like it here for some reason. So it didn't post till this morning. So for that, I'm sorry. I still am uploading my scraps to embellishments video. I don't even know when it's going to upload. I have it set to just automatically post. So when it, it uploads, I guess that's when we're going to see it. <laughs> oh goodness. Hopefully this one uploads faster because it shouldn't be too long, especially if I quit Gavin, right? All right. So let's just have some fun. My page kits were done for the next three days because we only have three days left and I've had so much fun. I appreciate you all coming to hang out with me. Um, if you watch that video, you'll know where all of my papers came from for this sketch. And this is a very fun sketch. This is a cool little, this is when I wish I had a Cricut because I would do something fun, make some unique doily, but you know, you could do something fun with this just as it is, right? Like you could punch hearts and almost mimic this and maybe take a pin. I don't know. I didn't do any of those things because I'm a lazy scrapper sometimes. But I love this sketch a lot. This is a lot of fun. This is versatile because really you could do this and this element and you can do whatever you want right here. You could even do a large like eight by eight maybe here and make this like two inches. There's a lot you could do with this. So let's see what I came up with. I didn't do any of those things I just suggested because I just thought of them right now. <laughs> but that's okay. That's all right. I like what I came up with. We got Miss Mary. And these are not the best photos, even though they were in 2020, because this was in our schoolroom in Colorado. And the sun was shining through. And she was just so happy this day. She is like the smartest. Okay, this is just Nana bragging on her grandbaby. But... She is just so articulate and she is just, just so carefree. Definitely her mama's girl. Her mother is very much, I swear on my life, I, that child is a 70s child. She is my girl. She was born in 96 and I'm telling you, <laughs> she was born in the wrong era. Of my three ch oldest children, two of them just have old souls. My son is even worse. Like his favorite actor is John Wayne. He loves Johnny Cash. He likes old school country music. They just, they're really grown up. I don't know if that's because that was something I did or God's will, but they are definitely old souls as I call it. My title is going to be Wildflower because she just, yeah, she's just so sweet. She just is. And they have a very um, bohemian vibe, her and her mama. Now, her favorite color, she says is purple. Sometimes she says is pink. I went with a pink kind of tone. I showed her on FaceTime the flowers, and then she goes, Nana, those are perfect. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. And Miss Mary, when you see Nana doing this, know that I love you, because her mama will show her this video video and I will call you tomorrow so we can FaceTime again. Okay, just a little Nana vibe there. Now, in the sketch, they also have this element right here. And I did make tags. I made it with this and I did fussy cut. I talked about my page kits, how I thought I was gonna fussy cut and I did. I had, I'm sure you saw that I had a little bit of it left. Um, if I need to fussy cut some more, I can. Otherwise, I will cut this straight. This will go in scraps and this will go in my scrappy scraps, <laughs> like my smaller scraps. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Okay, so I'll leave that right there to the side. We'll choose a different side. I do think I'm going to do the banner element, and we'll play with that when we're ready. Wildflower is going to be my title, and I will do a tiny little bit of journaling right here. When I cut all these flowers out, I did ink them, and I did cut a few tabs. So we'll see if we use any of these tabs. I don't know. Um, my thinking is is to maybe do a little tiny bit here and then something big here, and this is already up on foam, and to put it down. So I'm gonna set this aside and just start tucking. 
that's the fun part about fussy cutting. You know, I um, would 100% agree with Miss Janet Madison when she says um, it is cheaper to buy paper and fussy cut than it is to buy ephemera right now. That is just a fact. That is totally true. And I have done that for years. I will continue to do that. Um, definitely one of those things that I enjoy doing and it's economically cheaper. <laughs> like It is and you can get more. So a lot of times I will use half the page because I use that same paper right here. Um, I will use half the page for that and the other half the page I'll fussy cut it. So kind of a two for one deal. Now I'm gonna put some of these up on foam tape to give it some dimension. Now there are a lot of leaves. So I did my best when I was fussy cutting to mimic that. Now I really like how that one turned out. So I'm gonna tuck that one right here just cause I do know I want a couple elements down here. Maybe I'll put this one up on foam too. Now you guys know I just kind of do the base behind the scenes and then I embellish and hope that you guys will come and hang out with me and laugh with me and be silly and you never know what's going to happen around here. You never know. Okay. I'm going to just kind of go like that. I, I don't mind. I mean, to me, it's a lot of leaves, but what if I were to turn this one around and put this one up here? Okay. I like that a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe I do. Changing my mind. Get with it, Jen. All right. Yes, you'll hear me call myself Jen, Jen. I've been called probably lots of different names. I don't even want to know, but those are the ones I've been called a lot throughout my life. Okay. Tuck this one under here. And as I gab, I just play. That's all I'm doing. It's playing with paper. Enjoying the day. It is beautiful here. Beautiful. We did get quite a bit done. However, in the middle of putting our pool, well, the foundation for our pool, we're putting the fence up. We've done the groundwork. You guys saw that. I did that a couple weeks ago and shared that with you. Um, we found out in the middle of all that yesterday that our water heater sprung a leak. Oh, lucky us. And so in the middle of everything, we had to, I'm gonna put this one up on foam tape. Um, we had to stop what we were doing. I said a little prayer that they would even have a hot water heater in stock, which they did, but y'all almost had a stroke to replace our hot water heater because there was no fixing it. Like it was cracked all the way along the bottom. And I'm like, well, you know, babe, they only make them to last like 10 years now. And the water is really hard where we live here in Texas. I mean, the, you guys know, I've talked about it in my beginning videos. First thing we did was get a water softener and a water purifier. Cost us a lot of money, but that, I was like, I ain't about getting cancer. This is no, what is her name? Erin Brockovich story over here. <laughs> like, it's not happening. So, and not that that's funny, but that's what I said. And so um, that's the oncology nurse coming out of me. And so, um, I, we did that, but there was so much sediment in the bottom of this because the owners before us, I know they lived here for 10 years, did not have a water softer. The people they bought it from, the original owners of the house. So we're the third owner of this house. They had a water softener, but they took it. Well, the people before us that bought it after them, I feel like I'm talking about cousins, sisters, brothers, uncles, but hopefully you can follow all that. They um, didn't have one. How they did not have issues is beyond me because we've been told like your dishwasher will go out from all the um, sediment and just all kinds of ice makers go out onward and onward. Well, there was so much sediment in the bottom of our water heater that it cracked from one, like here's the base, it cracked from one clear across the diameter of the entire thing, the radius, whatever that thing's called. And so when I was like, well, babe, they only last 10 years anyway. Well, we got, and he's like, that's true. So he looks at the year, it was from 2006. How it hadn't died before then is beyond me. 
but because they don't make things the last like they used to, they had two in stock and that hot water heater, y'all, was $900. $900, so much so that we almost, almost, if we wouldn't have had a brick facade and my husband could have just really quick put a bigger vent in, we would have just got an instant water heater because it was only $500 more. You might as well have, right? It's crazy. Anyway, okay, so let me tuck. And I'm just gabbing over here. Y'all know me. It's the way it goes. Maybe I should layer this just a little bit more this way. Okay. I like where it says wildflower. Now, I also pulled out some sticker elements. I do have this one. I mean, I, I don't know if we really need it, but I can never have too many, right? Eh, I don't know. Um, I do have, it says grow like a, and this came off a sticker sheet. I'll show you the sticker sheet here in just a second. And I'm thinking I'm just going to put that right there. Grow like a wildflower because she is growing fast. She is. And then I have all these other little sticker elements. Um, you know, they have a heart because they have hearts all throughout here. And I think I might just put this pink heart up here. But then the question remains, should I put her somewhere else? Hmm. I don't know. I could. Should I even put a heart? Maybe I should put a little critter. There's a bird. There's a little grasshopper. That's cute. I could maybe tuck him in somewhere. Look how cute he is. Okay. Maybe tuck him in right there. That's <laughs> That just tickles me. I gotta put the grasshopper in there now. How do I not? I know, you guys. I'm just silly. What can I say? Little things bring me joy. They do. That is, that I, I don't, you know, I guess I didn't realize how much I laugh at myself and, and try to find joy until I start doing YouTube videos because you all just bless my heart when you say, <laughs> you know, I love your laugh. I cackle. I mean, I'm not in denial. I'm an Oklahoman. When I grew up, everybody cackled. That's what the women did. So I just follow that. And I've done it my whole life. I'm just used to it, I suppose. I don't know. And anyway, so it just makes my day when you guys say how much you enjoy it. Because it's a good thing. Because I do it a lot. <laughs> I do. I do it a lot, right? I didn't even know I did it that much. That's all right. It's what makes me me. Okay. So quit talking, Ginger and Let's see, I could put, I think if I use this birdie, I need to fussy cut this off. So, so I don't mess up my scissors, and I'll do it real quick here. Let me grab a little piece of wax paper. This is what I do, because scissors ain't cheap either, and I'm a cheapskate. I put it on a piece of wax paper so that my scissors are not cutting the sticky part they're cutting the wax paper you can do this on cardstock or whatever you like this is what I do okay now make sure you leave yourself enough on the other side so you can still get the sticker off and I think I might tuck that in there somewhere so then I'll have a little grasshopper he's going that way we have a little birdie over here going that way I might rearrange that a little bit here in a minute and then I'm thinking what if we were to put a ladybug here and one over here? Probably the bigger one over here, but I'm thinking on foam. So let me get a little piece of foam. I'll add more. Bigger one. Oh, no, I better add more now. I ain't gonna stay. I'm sorry, little ladybug, you're bottom heavy. <laughs> Does that mean he has too much badonkadonk? Oh, y'all. I'm so grateful you don't think I'm totally crazy and you come back. <laughs> Let's point him towards the photo. Okay, towards the photo. Oh, my goodness. I needed to laugh this morning. We didn't have a great morning. One of my son's best friends passed away in a motorcycle accident. So, I've already cried this morning. You know how that goes. Definitely... A good kid he was he was pretty young but God has a plan for him there's a reason I've been praying for his mom and dad that they can find whatever that reason is in their heart I do through sadness we have to try to find some kind of positive right 
We have to believe God has a purpose for us. Okay, not going to bog down on the sad. I don't know if I like that ladybug there. I don't know. I'm almost thinking maybe I shouldn't have put him on film. Because, you know, ladybugs. I wonder if I can take this off. Ladybugs like to tuck into flowers and stuff, right? Maybe tuck him in there. Oh, yeah, he's cuter that way. All right, I'll just go ahead. I'm sure. It's a cardstock sticker, so I'm sure I can. This. Oh, no, there is film right there. Okay. Just like that. Okay, I'm liking that. Now, the question for me, let me temporarily adhese these down with just a little bit of, then they won't move so much. Yeah, I want it to go closer. No. You know what, when I do it, go glue it, I'll line it up with this right there. For now, just a little bit so it doesn't move. Okay, and then this ladybug will go this way, just like that. Somewhere there. I might find a tiny little sentiment. Oh, I was going to show you guys. This is the sticker sheet. I'm still using this magical, magical forest crepe paper. I'm trying to use these up. I don't see any little words. Let's have fun. That's cute. Little explorer. These are, I almost used this little girl, but she's wearing pink, so I decided not to do that. And I almost went with stars instead of hearts, but um, I did pull those hearts, even though... I really didn't use them. I pulled all three of them. But I, I like the ladybug better. That's it. So I'm going to go with the ladybug. Okay, let me put these back on my phone. And just marinate. I love the way this is looking. I am thinking, though, I had another piece out of my kit that I didn't use. It was this um, the Simple Stories. I think I like the dot. And I'm thinking... Oh, this is going to be talented. It's like pulling the tablecloth out from underneath the china. Oh, look at that. I did it. Oh, I'm a magician. No, I'm not. <laughs> I think I'm going to back it. I will get this paper, though, because I love this paper, even though I have a bunch of them. I love it. I think I will do a border around here, which is going to get hairy because I'll have to take this off. This is why you temporary adhesive everything. I will take this off and I'll have to make everything, you know, a little shorter. But that's all right. That that won't take long. So I, I will go. I will glue everything down. And I will come back and we'll go over the end result. All right. Be back. Thank you, everyone. We got everything glued down. And it turned out pretty well. Everything. I did. I did add the sentiments. I did add a few enamel dots. As always, you know me. I'm not patient. There might be some glue sticking out <laughs> So uh, add the little sentiment, my heart, and over here, whoops, I didn't mean to go so fast. And over here, um, I added the little sentiment, charming. I couldn't remember what it said. <laughs> I had to look at it. And yeah, I think it turned out really cute. So here was the sketch for the day. I didn't do mine verbatim, but it's just an inspiration, right? And I want to thank Christine from um uh, scrapping on the, I, I think it's fly. I think that's what it is. I, I know I watch her videos. So I'm pretty sure that is scrapping on the fly. I want to thank her for creating the sketch because I had a lot of fun with it. Mine turned out a little bit different, but that's all right. I really like the flowers. They're really pretty. It's worth the time fussy cutting. All right, y'all have a good day. I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully my videos will upload. <laughs> Be blessed. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye.